The results were better. You saw some progress there, didn't you, Tim? That's right. Yes, definitely progress. I mean, the sub number spoke for itself. I mean, that's always the number that people are looking for first. Interestingly, of course, Netflix won't be providing sub guidance anymore. So we'll be, ha be having to build our own models. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely, I think the sentiment is improving uh, on the likely success of the ad tier. We've estimated that will be revenue, positive incremental revenue to be generated next year. Um, but it really is going to be, um, you know, an effort to get there. I mean, there's high demand to be placing ads in those slots. But it's going to be largely, you know, contextual based ads um, using just kind of basic, uh, you know, age and gender data. Um, so the real upside over time could come from better programmatic delivery of those ads, better uh, targeting, therefore higher pricing. That will take time to develop. Meanwhile, you know, foreign currencies kind of hurt Netflix uh, currently and into next year. We've only got kind of very slight upside to earnings. Um, so that's why we're still neutral on the stock. But you're raising estimates. Is, is it on the ad tier? Yeah, we've raised estimates. Well, it was a pretty nice beat uh, versus the guidance they had given in Q3. Um, the Q4 guidance looks looks decent as well. Um, uh, and yes, we, we are now working in gradually more upside uh, from the ad tier. You know, the news last week, um, this was last week when it came out with a lot more detail on the ad tier. Basically, we were only assuming U.S. and Canada being the market launches, you know, really for the first part of even 23. They're coming out with 12 countries and they are 12 large, sophisticated ad markets over the next, uh, uh, starting in early November. Um, so that basically means more ad revenue, more business coming into Netflix in 2023. That could be somewhere around a billion dollars of, uh, of total ad revenues next year. So it's, it's a, a, a good start. It's a good start. And that does factor into the numbers, factors into a higher target price as well. Thank you for joining us, Tim Nolan, with your reaction.